Hey there folks, my name is Peter and on today's video we're going to look at what's in my man purse. So before buying a man purse or a sling bag, uh, I was guilty of just overstuffing my pockets with everything you could possibly imagine. Uh, I made the decision about a year ago to change that and now I carry this with me pretty much everywhere I go. There are some times for certain occasions where I might slim this down and just try to carry a fewer things on my person. But in general, 90 plus percent of the time, this goes with me everywhere. Now, this is the Tom Tok Compact Sling. Uh, I got this on eBay, or uh, excuse me, Amazon for, I wanna say something like $50. I'll have links to everything down below so you can check it out if you're interested. Um, this sling has served me well. Um, I actually have a new sling bag from Alpaca that I'm gonna be reviewing on this channel and actually switching everything from here over to there. Uh, but for now, this is what I'm still carrying with me daily. One thing I don't like about it, obviously I'm a bigger guy, and you know, when I put it on, it, it sits pretty high up on me. Uh, I would prefer if it was a little bit lower, um, and then over time it actually starts to move. So I don't love that, but like I said, I've been using it for about a year, and it has been okay. So it has three pockets in total, front, back, and then the main one here in the front. So we're actually gonna start on the sides and then work our way in. So first things first, Apple AirTag. I, I wasn't really a fan of these when they first came out, but for the cost and then the peace of mind that it gives you, I'm totally fine with having it on here. Uh, I actually have this called Man Purse in the iPhone. Over here is just a two-way carabiner with a bottle opener. I don't know if I've ever used it, but it's there when I need it. And in fact, with some of the stuff in here, I'm gonna repeat that phrase quite a bit, which is, I don't use all this all the time, but I like to have it should I need it. Okay, so let's look at the front pouch first because this one is probably the least interesting. So I have a lighter, uh, I don't smoke, and this is another one of those things that I use very infrequently, but if you have to light a candle, something to that effect, uh, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Next are my keys. Um, not too much to write home about here. My truck, I don't have to actually turn the key, so it's nice in here. If I did have to turn the key, this would be kind of annoying um, because I don't wanna have to like get this whole thing out and, and turn the key every time. Uh, for the keys themselves, like to my house and stuff like that, uh, I have this Orbit Key Organizer. Uh, I, I found it to be pretty useful in so far as I don't like a lot of jingling, and this prevents that. Uh, since I set it up, I haven't really gone back to it. So I can't really speak to, you know, if you're constantly changing out keys, how something like that gonna work for you. Uh, but for me, it's worked out well. I love the leather, uh, and I think it's a pretty clean look. I have another AirTag on the keys itself, which, again, is somewhat duplicative given that I have one on the purse. But, uh, like I said, if I want to switch to a smaller loadout for the day and just take the keys, I like having it on there as well. And these are pretty cheap, so not that big of a deal. Also on the Orbit Key Organizer, I have the Orbit Key USB stick, Orbit Key Multi Tool, and I have the Orbit Key Mirror slash File. I have not used any of these. Uh, the USB stick is probably the least interesting one because uh, these days you just don't, I, I don't really hook up, to, hook up to computers and pull files, right? Everything is on the cloud and whatnot, so. If I had to live without all of those things, I could. I think I've used the mirror once, and I think I used the multi-tool once to open a package, but I have other stuff in here that can also do that, so not really the end of the world. All right, so flipping the bag around, this zipper pouch is where I keep all of my electronic items. So to start, I have three cables. I've got USB-A to Lightning, because I'm an iPhone user. I've got USB-C to Lightning, which I'll show you in a minute and I have USB-C to USB-C for charging an iPad. Now I carry this uh, brick, this is from Aki, uh, so it's got two USB outs, and, or excuse me, two USB-C outs, um, because you know if I'm staying overnight somewhere or I need power, it's nice just to be able to have something like this, and then I have all the cables I could need to charge both my iPhone and my iPad right from here. I'll be honest, uh, obviously I, I do use this, but I don't love it. Um, in general, I have to sort of jiggle it in the outlet to make sure that it actually uh, charges my devices, which I don't really appreciate, uh, and it also sort of fails on me from time to time. I probably should replace this, but given how frequently I use it, uh, I'm okay with it for now, but it is on the chopping block. And then finally, I have this Anchor um, 
Slim Power Bank. I believe this is a 10,000 milliamp hour. I've had this thing for a very long time. I think now these are only like 20 bucks uh, on Amazon. And that's what I have mainly the USB-A for because this doesn't have a USB-C out. Um, for that reason, this is also sort of on the chopping block. At some point, I'd like to upgrade to a power bank that has USB-C out so I don't have to carry this with me all the time. But for now, I carry it with me and it, 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 it does get used. It's got me out of a number of jams in the past. So I'm okay with it. Okay, so moving to the center of the bag, sort of the main attraction, if you will. Um, I mainly have tools in here, but we will go from uh, what I consider to be least interesting to most interesting. So first up is my wallet. Um, unlike, I would say, other sort of EDC folks who I like, follow, and greatly appreciate because they give me all sorts of great information, I don't switch, switch out my wallet very often. Um, this is a designer wallet. Not much more to say. It certainly lacks some of the functionality that some of those other EDC wallets have. And of course, I'll get comments about you know the price relative to the value of the leather and so on and so forth isn't worth it. I like this stuff, so I use it. Uh, my view is that I'd rather buy something that is um, you know, very nice and I think it'll last me a lifetime and that I'll take care of because of how much I spent on it as opposed to just you know, going through you know, and having 10, $20 wallets, right? I'd just have, rather have one uh, that I take care of and that lasts me a long time. Next, these are all just like basic stuff, right? A, uh, a thing to wash off your fingers if you've had maybe too many chicken wings, uh, some hand lotion. Again, this is uh, just chapstick. And then let's get into the tools. So in terms of least interesting would be this um, Olite O-Pry uh, pry tool. And I say it's not that interesting because I just don't use it. I bought it on Amazon sort of on a whim. I guess I was doing some retail therapy um, and I haven't used it once. Now, granted, I haven't had it that long, so it's possible it will get used into the future. But for me, a lot of the feature set is a little bit duplicative um, and I just don't do a lot of prying, right? So it's bottle opener, I've got that on the outside. Um, you know, your, your bolt turner here, I could use that, but in general I carry in my truck a full set of metric uh, sockets and a ratchet. So I generally don't need something like this. It's got some screwdriver blades that you can stick in here, or bits rather, that you could stick in there. But again, in my truck, which is what I'm driving the majority of the time, I have my own EDC kit, which if you wanna see me review, please leave a comment and I will be sure to do so. Oh, and by the way, have you subscribed yet? If not, appreciate it. Um, so anyway, I'm not saying this is a bad tool. You may buy it and find that you really like it. Uh, it's just not really for me because I don't have a ton of use cases for it. Moving on. So next is my pen. I got this um, at a flea market in Brooklyn. So I cannot tell you the brand uh, or anything like that, but it's a bolt action pen. And I just love the mechanism, right? I think it's, I, I'm definitely a fidgeter. Uh, and so just, you know, be, being able to do that sort of all day when, when you're writing is nice. Um, it's a little small for me, right? I, I think I have a bigger hand um, and the knurling here, I think could be a little bit higher or, or extend farther, right? It only goes for maybe an inch but um, I do like it, it's heavy, it's nice, it, it feels good when you're writing. I don't write all that often, um, so this is not on the chopping block per se as like an EDC pen. If I was gonna do anything, I would probably go smaller. I think in general, that is my strategy longer term is to take a lot of what I have and try to minimize it so that I'm carrying less weight and just less stuff with me all the time. But all in all, bolt action pens are super cool. Um, I know Big Idea Design has a bunch. I wanted to check those out for quite some time and I may in the future. Uh, but for now, this gets me through and it also came with this nice leather sheath. Next, let's go with the screwdriver first. So I had a different EDC screwdriver kit that was much bigger than this one. It came in like a full plastic case. Uh, the, the name escapes me, but same principle here. This is the Hoto P1 24-in-1 screwdriver, right? So pretty slim profile, and then your bits come out right from the top. And there's 24 bits in here. Or, well, there's probably 12 bits and then two sides to each. Um, and so, you know, again, I don't use this every day, but I do use it, uh, and generally, because they're such small bits and I have bigger ones in the truck, this is gonna be more for things like 
changing batteries or you know perhaps a pair of eyeglasses sunglasses becomes loose and you just want to tighten it down i do like the mechanism for turning on this right once you get it in there it's pretty easy uh, because this rotates so i think this is a little pricey the the price does escape me but i want to say it was upwards of fifty dollars um but i really enjoy it i think it's well made it's been in here for a long time it's showing some signs of wear but all in all, I would definitely buy this again. Okay, next is my flashlight. Um, you know, I am not a EDC flashlight purist, which is to say, in general, the light on my phone is more than sufficient. What's nice about this light is it's more of a tactical light. So on some level, you could view this as like a, a form of self-defense. And it actually has two modes, right? So the first one, pretty bright, and then it has the throw, which is even brighter. Um, so I do like it, um, but I actually am looking to change. So Olight has a few good products. I mean, they have a ton of good products that are much, uh, uh, they come in a much smaller profile than this one does. And I think that's where I'm headed. The other thing I don't like about this, if I wanted to use this hands-free, there's really no great way to use it. Um, insofar as what I would like to do is have this clip reverse so I could stick it on a hat or something like that. Um, what is nice about it is that it's USB-C charged, so I don't have to carry extra batteries with me. All in all, the fact that it's the Streamlight Wedge, I think it's a good light um, at a price that I wouldn't pay again. I want to say this is close to $100, um, and as nice as it is, as well made as it is, uh, I just don't use it enough for its intended use to buy it again. Okay, then lastly of the big items, we have our Leatherman P2. So, I picked this up, I want to say on... Uh, Facebook Marketplace, and prior to having the free P2 in this bag, I had, I think, the free T4, um, which has pretty much all the same tools, but it doesn't have the, uh, the pliers. I like having the pliers. I would say of all of the tools on this multi-tool that I use, pliers would be probably number two, the blade would be number one, and then the scissors would be number three. The rest of the stuff, I don't use all that often, frankly. Uh, again, I like that it's all there. You know, you've got these awls and files and measuring and bottle openers and so on and so forth. Um, it's great that they're there, I just don't use them all that much. So I actually do not carry a separate knife, uh, which again, I, I think that might be a little sacrilege in EDC, I'm not really sure, but uh, for what I need a knife for, which is mostly opening Amazon boxes, uh, this more than suits my needs. And that's it. That is my EDC in my man purse. I guess if we want to round it out, watch-wise, you can see I'm wearing two watches right now. So I don't wear the Apple Watch all the time. The Apple Watch I only wear when I'm filming because I have a secondary camera where you're getting these overhead shots and I like to see what that camera is seeing on this watch. So I am not wearing this out of the house almost ever, um, but I do have it on my right wrist when I'm filming to be able to check the camera. And then on this wrist, I have my Rolex Submariner. Uh, I picked this up, I was actually very lucky and fortunate to pick this up at retail four years ago. Uh, this was before you couldn't walk into a store and buy a Rolex. Uh, even then, you couldn't actually buy it. I had to get my name out of wait lists. It was my birthday, so on and so forth. Uh, one thing led to another, and I was fortunate enough to be able to buy it retail. But um, you know, I've gone into stores four years since, and it, what do they say, it just says, uh, display only or, 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 or not for sale. So I, I, I really do think it's a shame that you can't get your hands on stuff like this, even if you wanted to, and I'm not saying everybody wants to. Um, but for me, it's actually my favorite possession. Um, I, I, I can probably just stare at this all day, truthfully. Um, it, it actually has the, uh, so because it's the diving model, you can turn uh, the dial here, and then it acts as a countdown. Now, you're meant to use this as a, you know, as a scuba diver because uh, you, you, you can set it and then see how long you've been underwater because you don't want to be under there too long with your oxygen and whatnot. Uh, I mainly use it for uh, tracking how long the laundry takes. I do not scuba dive, so no worries there. And then it has the date function, which I would actually say I probably use the date more than I use the, uh, the clock because uh, just, just now as I was setting up for this video, I recently picked up this DJI mic and it wanted to know the date. So right there on my wrist at all times. Other than that, the only other thing that's in my pocket, again, is this iPhone, which is recording, uh, and that's it. This is what I carry on a daily basis. Like I said, 
This bag has served me well. I do think I'm gonna switch to the alpaca and I'll get that on video for you all. Um, but what do you think of this collection? Is there something you think I should add or something I should remove or based on the stuff that I said I'm, or, or is on the chopping block, what would you recommend? Uh, be sure to leave those in the comments. Like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video.